I'm stoked over this spark. Lil Sparky, I call him. Lil Sparky Spark. I have gotten into the world of drone flying. It's happened. I have fallen down the rabbit hole of drone flying. Shout out to Big Drone Flyer 77, a YouTuber out there uh, who answered all my questions, all my newbie questions that I had. Thanks, brother. You're a big inspiration. Answered all my questions without hesitation. Because of your answers, uh, I, I feel like my knowledge is where it is today. So, big shout out to Big Drone 77. His YouTube channel will be in the description. This little thing right here is amazing. Going uh, from a bigger drone, a, a more of a uh, more of a hobbyist drone, this monstrosity of a thing. Uh, I love this thing. I wish uh, I would have gotten it first, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, I can fly it without obviously having GPS help because I, I flew the uh, bigger drone all line of sight. So I'm happy for that aspect of it. But this thing, doggone it, just awesome. It's got, you know, your 1080p uh, two-axis gimbal camera on it. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go into a big review of this thing. It's been out for, I don't know, two or three years, however long. Uh, there's, there's just millions of reviews. We're going to go out for a flight right now. We're going to go outside. I'm going to take this darn thing out uh, across the Las Vegas sky. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, and I'm going to review that and get, get some uh, footage. I don't think that's out there right now. Uh, I've, been, I've been doing a lot of research. And uh, you know, we're going to fly in a safe zone. We're going to fly in a no-fly zone. Because these things scream in terms of altitude uh, and, and distance. And when I say distance, you know, some of you might laugh at me because I know the Maverick, Maverick 2 Pro and all that go, you know, six, seven miles. This thing only goes a mile and a half. But for me, that's incredible uh, because I had, like I said, I had the uh, X8 SW uh, uh, SEMA drone and uh, that thing, I was lucky if it went 10 feet. Not a bad drone. Uh, $98 at Fry's Electronics. It's even a little cheaper on Amazon. Uh, you know, it doesn't have uh, GPS, return to home. It's all FPV, uh, line of sight. I, uh, if, you, if you can see this right here, <laughs> uh, this is a zip tie, okay? I actually rigged my GoPro onto this because I wasn't satisfied with the camera this thing came with. Really generic. It was just terrible. So I, I, I rigged up a uh, GoPro on this and flew it. It fell out of the sky I don't know how many times. Just, just loss of signal. So, uh, again, this thing just straight awesome. One thing I got to note is you, you got to have the controller with the spark. I got the OTG uh, on-the-go cable. Uh, to US mini USB to a USB C which hooks up to my phone. I disable the Wi Fi and I put it in airport mode on my phone and uh, I use that connection straight to the to the controller which then controls it via Wi Fi onto the Spark itself. Uh, this thing, uh, I've never flown it any other way even though it is a Wi Fi drone. I get that. Uh, you know, I've been flying it with this and no complaints. Just sensational. Some really great uh, flight times. Super fun. Super fun. Let's go out there. We'll go about two, three hundred yards uh, outside of my backyard here, and uh, let's get this thing flying. So Sparky just kind of sits there. We're going to do a range test, see how far I can send her out. So it should be able to go pretty impressed so far with the Spark. So uh, about to do a live, uh, live little test here. See, uh, see how far she goes. You're looking at uh, Las Vegas. Uh, Henderson side of Las Vegas, uh, more towards the uh, east, Lake Mead, kind of up by in the Green Valley Hills here, Seven Hills area. So we're going to send her yonder east and uh, see what she does for us. Thinks it's cold outside, it really isn't that cold. Oh, Sparky. And we're off. It was in daylight pretty quick. She's doing good, pretty good at 120 feet out, 200 feet out. Typically don't like going too high, especially when I'm around in the city. I won't take it above 100 feet. I know it's kind of boring, but I don't want to be that guy. She's hitting right now 400 feet distance. And just traveling. Let's take a shot. Take check this out. Some of the some of the pretty cool uh, area shots here. I mean, this is just cool. Look at that. That's your whole uh, that's your whole Las Vegas Valley right there. 
Look at that. Just beautiful. There's your there's the strip. That's on the uh that's on the far west right there. And you got uh right here all of the you got the East Valley right there. Right in the middle of down there is Henderson. And then as I pan right, you're looking far east. Yeah, you, know, you got some of the big mansions over there, Green Valley. Let's uh let's check this out over here. Let's go a little further. Uh, I've lost pretty much sight of it. It's only 500 feet out, but I can I can barely see it. I'm used to a bigger bigger drone. Uh, this one's quite small, quite compact, but definitely packs a huge punch in terms of power. Just huge. So kind of pan the camera down a little bit. It's pretty cool. All the you got some of the houses here. I'm gonna go ahead and elevate this a little bit just the response to the to the throttle and the, and the sticks I mean just spot on uh, in terms of no latency uh, the video is capturing really well it's broadcasting at 5.8 gigahertz on Wi-Fi I have it directly to the cable I don't even mess around with uh, with the Wi-Fi itself direct signal I have a OTG cable that I use uh, just makes it a lot easier. Gonna get over this mountain right here. It's a little hump. This is cool. So it's pretty far, pretty far out. 732 feet. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're used to flying the drones that I've flown, I the SEMA X8 SW. It's all line of sight. When you upgrade to something like this, you really appreciate the uh, craftsmanship and just the overall mechanics of something like this it's just what a wonderful innovation in terms of dgi they just nailed it it's such a such a such a great price for such a small drone but yet just look at that video look at that just sensational just building all they do is build 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 it's pretty cool i don't want to take it in there because i could end up losing losing signal but uh, if you look to the top, I'll pan up a little bit. Uh, I believe, I want to say it's Black Mountain up there. And you got some of your high dollar mansions right there. Uh, rich, what, what a pristine, just poised area. Uh, real exclusive. Uh, pretty nice place of Vegas. People don't really realize it's out here if you're not from Vegas. Just kind of look at like almost like a stratosphere. If you've been on the top of the stratosphere type of look over the valley. Except facing the other side. Just pretty, pretty gnarly. I'm only 775 feet out, which doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, to me, uh, <laughs> that's quite the distance. Uh, I'll take her out. Let's take her out about a thousand. See how she does in terms of in terms of response. 68, 66 percent battery life. Uh, see what she does at a thousand. Doing pretty good. Flying, flying really good. Put her, put her in sport, sport mode. See how she does. Now she's really flying. It's kind of. You're looking at sun, uh, sun city anthem down there. Golf course. Just really pristine area. Uh, that is me broadcasting from the hill. Can't really see me, but uh, I'm in there. Just to give you kind of a 360 view. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to get some camera shots of this. This is just sensational. Spark, by the way, has a really good uh, really good camera shot uh, in terms of uh, capturing uh, some really good uh, pictures. Uh, so if you click this button here on the top right of that record button, just get some nice little generic pictures of the strip. Nothing, nothing special. Just, uh, just some really nice pictures that you typically wouldn't be able to get just standing on the ground. You know, give you a nice little area view, aerial view of the of the valley here. Very impressive. Uh, this thing also does panel, panel. Panel uh, pictures, which is pretty cool. I really like that. Just again, those strips. That's the money shot right there. 
Just a beautiful shot. Very nice. Alright. As you can see right here, if you if you're if you're familiar with with Vegas and you're watching this video, there's the sunset station. I believe. Uh I do believe that is the sunset station right there. I uh, could be wrong, but uh, right there to you, right in the basically in the middle of the top screen. Um, pretty cool. Let's see, I'm up uh, almost 1,200 feet out. Uh, not even a half mile, but I mean, still impressive when you're looking at it uh, with the distance and the elevation and the the view that I have here. It's pretty impressive. Take her up a little higher. I want to go above 200 feet. Just a little bit. Let's get a better view. So. Send her out over. Over here a little bit. I've lost complete sight of her. So, probably end up taking her home now. 1,500 feet out. Get a nice little view up here. Look at this. Just building. They just continue to build. I was raised out here 20 years ago. This was all nothing. Just straight desert. Just nothing. Now you have just built. I'm try to return her home without taking her uh doing GPS. Let's see if I can do it. Should be able to. It's going pretty fast. Turn her home before the battery just decides to poop out on me. See if I can manage it without crashing into the mountain. Definitely don't want to hit that mountain. I know it has obstacle avoidance, but I uh, really don't trust anything uh, unless I could see it by my eyes. They wouldn't want to risk it. Oh yeah, she's way out there. I'll take her out a little bit more. Get a little greedy. You only get so much battery life. Plus it's cold. It's getting dark. Eh, go ahead, Sparky. Come on, land. I know you're scared. And that, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is landing. That in a nutshell. Definitely don't want to land near. So. Right there. Landing. Good job, Sparky Spark.